Okay guys, black kitty sleeping out there. Um, I have tried with the bloody incandescent light, I've tried with the high intensity discharge light and this piece of shit camera will not show all the cleaning up I've done in this room. So, anyways, we've got quite a uh, lot more floor space now. Um, people keep rattling on about cleaning things up. Uh, I've got a couple of books on the floor I have to stack away that you can't see underneath this box. That box there has to go. Um, that thing there is sitting on top of the bin that I've got all my spuds in. Uh, and a lot of stuff is very well cleaned up. I might be putting another bit of a shelf inside this. Uh, it's actually surprising that it's got all the internal railing so I just need to put a bit of plywood or whatever uh, in there and yeah I can make another shelf inside this which I probably should do um, to be able to pack a bit more gear in there because there's not that much gear in there um, mm. anyway the room of the tools which you can only see uh, the other side window there has a lot of shit here and there what annoys me the most is I've got a table under there with a lot of nothing underneath the table. Um, what it really is with a lot of the stuff here, it's not so much that there's piles and piles of junk because I would have thrown it out already. What a lot of it is, is just spread out or not put away or you've got multiple amounts of the same thing that aren't sort of collected into one box. Uh, so that's one of the things that I'm trying to do. Um, I seem to have a bloody lot of empty cardboard boxes. That's half the damn junk right there. I am having a bit of a go at cleaning the front lawn. As you can see, that's looking a bit better. Could be better still. And I'll probably at some point try to get to uh, some of this gear underneath here as well, which once again is a lot of large things and a handful of boxes and uh, yeah, just some random crap including uh, some containers because it's always nice to have biscuit containers but then the bloody things sit there for years and I don't know why I've even got that because that isn't even steel sided. A lot of these things, you know, the cardboard boxes and all this, the little tins, oh, I might be able to put some in, so I keep them and then they end up being half of the bloody rubbish, you know, so, yeah, some of these things probably should go inside the uh, storage area because I have room still in there, quite a bit of room, so I might be throwing the microwave in there along with these blinds and a few other odds and sods and try and, I've got a lot of these blooming tree guards, some of which are blowing out of their little spot and then blowing down the um, <laughs> down the paddock a little bit. So then I've picked them up and brought them in here and throw them in here and then it's like it's got all these random tree guards that you should find a spot for so some of those might be um, going into the uh, caravan or slush camp or something like that. I have uh, recently been moving Almost all the pots, I've kept some out that I'm going to use and there's still, uh, it's actually a gold panning thing and that's a wok lid, <laughs> you know, a few red bits and pieces. Um, yeah, cover the mic here because there's a bit of wind, uh, but a lot of stuff that I usually try and get out of the house just ends up getting thrown straight out here. I've started carrying some of the things and we'll carry more things out to the storage area near the fence which probably should include things like this marble bits and pieces I've taken out a lot of uh, water pipes and bits and pieces and I've got another box that I'm putting all the fittings for um, water pipes and, and crap in I've got a lot of half inch stuff stacks of it actually so I've got a box for that. I've also got a box for electronic spares, circuit boards with good switches and plugs and transformers and stuff still in them. Um, so I've got a box that I'm putting all that sort of gear into. Um, 
this here is all wood that's, uh, well that can all fit in the wood heater. This is probably the next stuff that's going, uh, this is what's going on the wood heater. This is what's going on the wood stove. Um, so that's why that's sitting there. I sort of have a bit of a tendency to uh, sort of prioritise some of the more shit wood and as a result it ends up either in here or on the front lawn but you know that's a matter of things going before long um, yeah this table's been sitting here forever I was thinking of growing plants on it but all the same it's still sort of smack bang in the middle of the lawn so I might go over there um, should do some of that toolbox as well there's nothing in that by the way um, don't know if I'll move this Maybe, maybe not. Stupid things like this, this, you know. I've got to get on and finish this damn thing, and that means that a lot of these will be rounded up, probably along with that. And in all honesty, I might just end up, you know, once I've done it, if I've only got one or two little bits left, a couple of stupid bits like this, cut the polystyrene out, throw the rest in the fire or whatever, or reuse it as actual sheet metal, um, but yeah, I'll be honest, I used to throw entire hunks like this straight on the bonfire, and then just pluck out the two bits of sheet metal and throw them into scrap metal later on, not terribly yeah, environmentally friendly, but anyway, that's what I've done to some of the smaller bits when I was first cleaning the place up, obviously scrap metal, big air compressor, uh, refrigeration compressor, um, that's got some oil that I've got to take to a certain place, it is right, it's uh, nice to be able to have the front lawn uh, nice and clear, I can't show you the laundry until I get the key, so I'll just go and get the key for that. Alrighty, would you believe out of all the shit in here, that's all there actually is. Just that one box. As I said, a lot of it's all just clutter. There's not much actually really to it. As I was saying, that actually clicks into that same um, thing that was outside. The uh, One of them anyway, one of my toolboxes. These are bits that click into the top. It's got a bunch of spare screws in there. I've got a place for all the spare screws that don't sort of match up with the rest. And like I was saying, you know, water pipe fittings, water pipe fittings, more water pipe fittings, um, electric motor and that. Uh, gang nail things. There's a whole shit ton of screws in here somewhere as well. More fittings, 90 mil. Oh, yeah, there's little the screws. Um, yeah, bits of pipe obviously, electrical cable, um, yeah, and there's all the bloody boxes that are all empty, except for that one which is my electronic spares one, you know, here we've got jack shit worth of bugger all, uh, and a few obvious tools, uh, including that one over there, which is the electric chainsaw that needs to get the thing out sharpened. Two chains on that sharpened. Um, got to go through that a little bit. Besides from that, you know, a couple of tarps. That box there has just a bucket and a, a big old uh, bed cover in it. And that's about all there is. Um, and of course, the old washing machine with a seat that I might actually start using. That's from a cardboard furniture company. Uh, and I always just stand up in here and sometimes you get sore back and like I have this stuff and I don't even think about it even though it's sitting right there. Anyway, things are sort of going pretty well, you know. Get rid of these boxes, I'll have a lot more floor space. Um, some of these boxes I might actually be slashing up and there's oil on the bottom of the trailer and I've got to pick up plasterboard and I'm going to have to put down a fair bit of cardboard before I can put plasterboard in there. 
Uh, about that front end low tobacco. <laughs> Friggin' piston. One of the main boom pistons, the last one before your bucket on the end has turned to shit. Instead of being an unscrewable one like most of them were in those times, they must have had a bit of trouble or stripped the thread or something like that and have gone and welded it shut. Cost a fix, minimum $3,000. Um, yeah, father's going to have a go. This may all turn to shit, um, but get badly reassembled. And there's an actual pin that you can put through in the back. Like, we don't have the pin, but we've got plenty of big bolts which do the same thing. Um, some of which are used for like hooking up cedars onto the back of um, tractors and all this sort of stuff, not just your average bolt. Um, and there is a part where you can put the pin through to lock the boom in place for transport or if the hydraulics fails or if it's got a tendency to slowly leach oil out or air into the hydraulics and your boom starts sagging as you're driving down the road with it on the back of your truck, uh, which would be a rather large truck to fit this on, um, they've got a pin to lock it in place. Now, if we were to take the entire back boom off, the whole lot would be out of weight balance and the nose would be just about cruising in the ground while the back wheels would be too high up. So to keep the weight balance, there's quite a chance that it may end up getting the pin put in the back and this thing will be have pins put in to hold it in place um, where there aren't pins it might be bloody big chain uh, to hold it permanently at the back in place so that the weight balance of the vehicle is still right and then all the hydraulic levers that go to those booms will just have bungs put on the end of them or end caps or something along those lines uh, and then we have a front end loader not a front end loader back over, but at least still a front end loader that is weight balanced properly. So, see how it goes. I think he's really starting to dig out of his depth with this shit. Um, but, yeah, <laughs> not a. It's got a weird inlet that sort of lumps up from the top of the boom for the inlet and outlet pipes as well, which sort of just makes it all the more ridiculous and harder to replace with any sort of generic boom. Um, anyway, bit of luck, we'll uh, get that going. Apparently, it won't be happening until spring, most likely. Um, and furthermore, on that subject, um, it looks as though it's going to be uh, five weeks off until... Um, People who have that house to look after, they're intending to go a little bit earlier than normal. So it might be about five weeks uh, till I have access to that house. And as for keeping these lemon centered verbena warm, I'm actually going to buy a heated propagation tray and sit it over in that house. And I may very well run it off the solar system for the next few weeks. Uh, it's not too cold, but if it does, you know, then I'll have it to run off the solar system. Fingers crossed that it will hold out if I even need to use it at all um, until I get into that on grid house because quite honestly I can't see this heated glass house really being done terribly quick, unfortunately, the heated hot house rather. Um, <laughs> yeah, try, I'm going to need a centre beam battens and all this sort of crap to load glass on and then the glass has got to overlap but then I've got to have a way of holding the glass from sliding off the top, blah 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 it's probably not going to happen, all the glass is all different sizes the glass that is in frames, the seals leak like a sieve like that dehydrator I made and uh, yeah, I might be actually using clear plastic on the roof of that and then where it goes through with the flue there will be something else on the uh, roof there and uh, you could uh, you might be able to work out what that is at some point when you see it put it like this it might not actually be steel anyway um, yeah hoping to go and build the uh, thing over the hill get out of the wind again 
over the hill um, where the softer soil is. I'm hoping to put in posts down there because the soil is softer. I should be able to get it in. On the back of the old green truck out the side there, there is enough old wire. I found just recently I have some chicken wire. I have, as you might have seen a second ago, plenty of old corrugated iron sheets. Most of the ones I'd be using would be the ones that are a bit warped that have come off the veranda roof to block out rabbits. If I don't just use chicken wire, but I think if I use chicken wire I'm going to be doing a lot of clipping. But if I use those sheets I'm going to be doing a lot of angle grinding, which tends to be a bit easier on your wrist than clipping chicken wire for 100 yards straight anyway. Um, hoping to get something done with that. We'll see how we go. The big one up against the dam slash pond, maybe not. It'd be nice to be able to at least dig the holes in for the big post before the uh, rain makes the ground sticky. And that may happen, but the actual fencing of it, yeah, probably not. Still waiting for him to uh, play around with this water pump. The, the bloody thing is a butterfly valve. And what they've done is that you get your butterfly valve and on the top you've got like this L-shaped piece with two holes in it and you've got wires that connect to your governor and your idle speed and all that crap um, on the rest of the motor. Trouble is, the thing, the L-shaped bit is sitting like that and it's supposed to be sitting like that. They've put the wires on the wrong thing and flicked it the wrong bloody way or something. So the bastard won't even run properly. So I'm hoping he's going to have a look at that and fiddle with that because he's sick to death of dealing with a front end loader. Um, I don't know if he will. I don't know when that will get done. But I don't even think I'm going to have a water pump come time for rains, which, you know, we got so close and then we've just sort of gone, Boo, and he uh, just hasn't got the last bit done on the carburetor. But those carburetors are bastards of things. You know, you've got it almost... There's about three bits that are going to be worked in at the one time to all hook in the right way with... Basically, it's a two-person job to make sure you don't bend those shitty little bits of wire they use to keep your idle right on your water pump. I mean, it's the most complicated piece of shit that's so hard to get apart and then it's been hooked back the wrong way. So you've got to... It's like trying to fix a frickin' clock. Anyway... He says it will be going at some point, but when, we'll find out. We are not quite sure, anyway. Anyway, I suppose that's enough of a uh, bit of a quick update. Uh, it's turned into, what, 18 minutes? And uh, leaves you uh, with that.